it is very early here in northeast florida i slept in late i look terrible but let's forget all that for a second we have had rain and rain and rain and overnight more rain here in northeast florida and this is what happens in my backyard when we just have all that rain i don't know how well we can see this on camera i'll walk back as far as i can can you hear my footsteps oh it's starting to rain again oh look at there there's a tree oh no that may be the log i already had out there so we are normally walking out to the creek and standing on those logs that are back there walk carefully here i don't want to slip and so you can see all the way on the other side this looks like a great big floodplain where I walk all over there to show y'all back in the back but I need to go over and take a look at where my garden studio is and see where the water is um, it's just the way it's all laid out and this was about five inches of rain I think maybe more my my rain gauge is put away because it's been covered up in one of the green socks but you can see you can see really this is a good indication of how much taller our houses are than the creek level right here because it's so close they have an extra drain creek over where they are let's go take a look over by the garden studio we'll just walk over here I'm just watching my step i would never ever come out here at night you have no idea what might have washed up out of the creek if there were alligators out here any of those things that sounds crazy to think about that but we do have alligators in our inland rivers here in this area so that wouldn't be a big surprise but all this makes me very happy we are high and dry behind the garden studio high and dry and so that is very good in order for the rain to get up to here the wind blew all these off in order for the rain to get up to here across the creek out in those woods we'd have to have at least i don't know a foot more of rain or more would be my guess because all that is woods and so there's plenty of water water area or plenty of area for the water to spread out the other thing i wanted to check because my neighbors put in a cool expansion there with their driveway i think it's great i just want to see how the water is standing and this looks a-okay i mean the bananas are going to do their job and soak all that up which is why we put the bananas here with that water and there's one more place i want to check too let's head around over by the um water tanks i want to see if my overflow drain worked haha <laughs> So, I can tell you it did because look here, this is not washed out, there's not dirt running across here. We were having a problem with it overflowing and then just literally washing away all of this. But here is the hose, you can still see there's standing water in it, like this second. Oh, I could probably flip it over, I'm not sure if we're getting more rain today or not. But oh, let's take a look here. I used a pool backwash hose, and then I used a hole punch for that. I don't think I've put that video out now that I think about it. And I think this worked and did what I needed it to do. Sort of distributing, yeah, because as you can tell. This has got a little bit of wash out here. This is where it was kinked. So probably right about there. I may figure out some sort of a staking system for this. So that it stays up in the garden bed. Stays out of the way but can stay unfurled. So hooray! Hooray! Everything else looks good. Life of living on a creek. Yet another great reason for me to have raised garden beds. I don't really have to worry about that water encroaching on my garden. 
and um, it'll all be okay. Until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water. <laughs> Wear that high quality sunscreen, but I will not be out here today. And of course, have a fantastic day.